Hello, everybody. Hi, this is Phil Tice, and uh, I am Joseph Ponzio Joseph again. Ponzio for critic this month's Critics Corner. So we're going to cut to the chase just because we're running a little low on time. Um, uh, and we're going to talk about Oscar predictions, Golden Globe, hoo-ha, all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so a uh, big what? winner at the Golden Globes was Boyhood. And now uh, me and Joe were talking about this, and we'll talk about it again for the sake of the podcast, is I, I think Boyhood was a good movie in and of itself that being said i think it's getting a little more credit than it's due because of the um because of the the 12 year cycle it took to make it uh so if if you guys don't know boyhood took 12 years to make because they wanted to realistically age the characters so the actors actually aged these 12 years and they filmed it inter inter um and that's definitely cool, and that's not, that hasn't been done before. That being said, if you take that element away, it's just it's like it's it's a it's a coming of age movie, which is cool and it works fine. But I don't know if it's quite as the the movie in it of itself without taking in all like the surrounding hoo ha about it. Um, I don't know if it's that like fantastic. And now we're being joined by a guest star, Mr. Jake McNamara. So okay, so we were uh, so Jake, we were just talking about Boyhood and oh, how I, I, I'm personally I'm I thought it was a decent movie in and of itself, but I think it's getting a little bit more credit than it deserves because of the like twelve year cycle. Why, why are you sorry, laughing at me? Okay. I think so. I think the fact he crashed <laughs> right into the podcast. What? Sorry. Okay. So what? 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 What, did, what do you think, Jake? Do you think it deserves all the awards it's getting? Like, or or do you think it's getting a little bit more credit just because of how it's how it was produced? I think it's getting a lot of credit for how it's produced, but I think that's credit well deserved. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Like personally, I was a little confused why it got. Uh, I think it was a best director. I think Richard Linklater did win best. Director yes, he did. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I like Linklater's good. I don't know if I would have said he would have beaten out Alejandro. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name. The guy who directed Birdman. Alejandro Gonzalez in Arido. Sure, let's go with that. Um, Scrub. Um, I, I, uh, he, like, I, I feel like Birdman was just so much more of a technically impressive film. Mm-hmm. That it confuses me why, like, just like a coming of age film would beat that out in terms of directorial when outside of, hey, this took a really long time to make, if you take that away from the film, it's like a better than average coming of age film. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's like, um, yeah, like if, if I didn't know in the beginning, like, yeah, if like no one told me. Say, that, say you don't know about the 12 If I went to the movie and just found out Boyhood, I didn't know anything about the whole, oh man, it took 12, like, they filmed over like yearly intervals for 12 uh-huh. years I would have been amazed like oh that's pretty cool it's the same actor but and, like it didn't really like support the fact that the story the story lacked in a it few, didn't go in a few areas it, it was telling the story of like a kid this growing kid up. growing up but the issue is with growing up is you have a lot of little stories You there's not like there wasn't one huge overarching plot mm. yeah nothing it was just kind of like following the guy. it seemed almost a little like reality television maybe that's why though captured that pretty well yo he captured it great um but i think i think and that might even be like a thing for to win screenplay yeah i would i would see like whoever because because what a a few people didn't realize is that it is not just following a kid around this was a scripted film um and like i think it captured it very well but then i think that goes a little bit more towards screenplay than it does director i mean that was real no, it wasn't real. No, like, I give the director props for keeping this under wraps for 12 years of his life. Well, he wasn't like, keeping it totally under wraps a bit for the last few years. But, I mean, I've, I've heard nothing about I, it. It, it. It was like 2010. No mummies in there that movie. Was there wasn't any mummies in that movie. Yeah, so there's no little wraps. <laughs> Not wraps. I hate you. <laughs> all right. All right, so anyway. All right, let's move on from Boyhood. Uh, Birdman. Birdman. Woo. Have you all seen Birdman? Yes. Woo. Woo. Did you actually see Birdman? Yeah, I saw Birdman. Okay, you I love Birdman. I fell in love yeah, with yeah. it. Um, I thought Michael Keaton was great as himself. 
basically. Yeah, basically playing his life after he's Batman. He's playing himself. His I really hope that his life is not as sad as uh, uh, Riggin. Guy, Riggin. Um <laughs> Because that was just depressing. I mean, it does make sense. Like, come on, Batman did kind of shatter his career with a baseball bat through uh, the window. Yeah, yeah but uh, whatever. Like, to a degree. But let's talk about Birdman. Let's talk okay, about yeah. Okay. Uh, Sorry about Jay, Jay, you haven't talked too much. This, so let's let's get. What, what what was your opinion on Birdman? That was pretty good. That's it. <laughs> That's all you have to say. Anything else you want to contribute more? Yeah, than uh, it was pretty good. No what? It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, like, I watched it and it was pretty good. Um, okay. okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the thing I loved about it, which it wasn't, was wasn't my favorite movie. Really, really. really? Oh, really? What, what what was your favorite movie? Oh, Interstellar. Oh, we'll we'll movie. we'll get to, we have we have four minutes left in the podcast, so we'll we'll get to Interstellar in just a second. We'll do the lightning round because I I need a rant about Interstellar. Uh, the one thing I did really love about. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, Anyway, uh, I really love Birdman because it had this really cool style it did, which it was all done in hand cam, handy cam, like it was all held, and because of like really cool shots, it it, it because because how they they cut it and everything, it looked like the entire film was a one shot. There's only one part where it did actually st- like stop the one shot. Yes, there is one part, but it makes sense for yeah. why it stops. But we're not going to say that because that's a spoiler. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was better than, uh, you know, the fact that we are seeing the praise about a 12-year movie about this one kid. I, th- I personally think Birdman, Birdman's story-wise was, oh, I love oh, it. Fantastic. And, and cinematography was gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It was absolutely beautiful. Nah, like All right, really Interstellar. Good. Interstellar. Let's uh, talk about Interstellar. Jake, uh, sing its praise. All right. Great movie. Uh, of the year. Do you want to explain? You want, you want to elaborate Elaborate. on that? Well, special effects first, uh, visual wise. Oh, ab- it, it's beautiful. hands down, it's, it's going to win that. It's so, uh, score wise too, the oh. music and. Yeah. Yeah. I love like, the organ mm-hmm. that he used yeah. throughout oh the, all that. Because I've never heard a, I've never heard a score like that before. Yeah. Um, that being said, it is up against uh, the Theory of Everything yeah, score, which won the Golden Globe. Birdman soundtrack actually is not up. It's not even oh, it's not. eligible oh, because wow. it's all percussion. Huh. It doesn't huh. count as a score. Damn, that sucks. Um, yeah. Um, uh, that no, being said, well, I didn't see the theory of everything. Did you, Did you see that? No. No. Okay. I don't. I don't know how good that score is. I haven't heard it. Uh, it's not. I can promise. Um, the really cool thing I, I loved about Interstellar is they brought in like actual theoretical physicists, and like you see the black hole in Interstellar, and you're like, hey, that's actually what people think black holes it's look like. It is a scientifically accurate... Even to the point where they get to the sci-fi part of being inside a black hole, it doesn't even matter because you don't know what happens. You, 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 you don't know, but... <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. We're Sorry, we had an interruption oh, from the, the peanut gallery. Get out, get out of the shot, man. Um, all right, any any other films we need to cover? Uh, I thought, although, by the way, can we talk about Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar for a second? Because he was all right. Yeah. He was all right. Yeah. Matt Damon in Interstellar just showed up and was never advertised. Yeah, like, no one it's like, hey, by the way, good, he was—he wasn't bad, but he was like, hey, by the way, Matt Damon, and I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, about yeah. Oh, yeah. Tars was fantastic. Um, also, Michael Caine making another appearance in another another Chris, Chris Nolan, Nolan film. film. Uh, the one thing I did have an issue with with Interstellar was the writing was a, felt a little wonky to me. The dialogue, it like everyone spoke in these big soliloquies. Yeah. And it felt really unnatural. Yeah. Like uh, there was this one bit. There was this one bit where uh, Anne Hathaway says to Matthew McConaughey, "She's that's like the only natural line." And I was like, I heard that. I was like, okay, this seems like something someone would actually say instead of these like really long Shakespearean Poetic. whatever the heck. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so we're actually out of time. We're probably gonna do like a part two of this sometime soon. To be continued. Do like a chocolate suit. Who should wear like a suit made of chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> next time, I want to talk about the whole biopic genre. We yes, we will we will di- we will discuss uh, Selma next time. All right.